I'll go ahead and call this meeting of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals to order. My name is Christian Klein. I'm the chair of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals. Today is, what is today? Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. I'd like to confirm members and anticipated officials are present. Uh, members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, Roger DuPont. Here. Patrick Hanlon. Here. Kevin Mills. Here. Aaron Ford. Here. Stephen Revelax. Here. It's going to work. Here. Fantastic. Um, Officials from the town, Rick Valorelli. Here. Lynn Lee. Here. And uh, we're being joined this evening by uh, Doug Heim, town council. Here. Here. And then I believe that we, um, Greg Lucas is here from Beta Group. Here. And I do not believe there's anyone appearing on behalf of the applicant. Um, so, just do a quick introduction to the remote meeting and then explain what's going to happen this evening. Uh, so this open meeting of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020. The order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. Public bodies may meet remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. An opportunity for public participation will be provided during the public comment period during each public hearing. For this meeting, the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals has convened a video conference via the Zoom app with online and telephone access as listed on the agenda posted to the town's website, identifying how the public may join. This meeting is being recorded and it will be broadcast by ACMI. Please be aware that attendees are participating by a variety of means. Some attendees are participating by video conference. Other participants are participating by computer audio or telephone. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you, your screen name, or another identifier. Please take care not to share personal information. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. We ask you to please maintain decorum during the meeting, including displaying an appropriate background. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda. As chair, I reserve the right to take items out of order in the interest of promoting an orderly meeting. Okay, so um, the board received a request this morning from the applicant. Um, they had uh, a family emergency come up and they are unable to participate. Uh, they have requested that we continue tonight's hearing um, until the next scheduled date, which is the 8th of April. Um, we have, uh, I have indicated to them that uh, I believe the board would be favorable of granting that uh, that continuance, um, but that we would also want to have an extension of the 180 day period because that schedule is set to expire on the 9th of April. Um, they have agreed to a 14 day extension of that to Friday the 23rd of April. Um, both of I have both of those in writing. They were posted just for within the last half hour to the to the agenda for tonight's hearing so those are now publicly available um and so this evening the sole thing that we are meeting to discuss is very specifically um the a motion to to extend um, the 180 day period for public review then to vote to continue the hearing um, until the date certain of the 23rd uh, excuse me, to the, a date certain of the 8th of April. Um, and then we will briefly discuss the upcoming hearing schedules that are currently in front of us. And then uh, we will be adjourning. Uh, we will not be taking testimony this evening as it relates to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as it relates to this or any other matter. Um, I do see that I have a hand raised um, I will ask you if, unless it relates very specifically to the question of whether the board should continue this hearing or not, um, or whether or not we should extend the review period for this hearing, um, that those are really the only things that are before us this evening, and those are the only things we'll take direct public comment on. Um, so with that in mind, uh, Mr. Urowitz, 
your, I see your hand is raised. Are you speaking in specifically in regards to the continuance of the hearing or the extension of the hearing? Yes, I am. <clears throat> and my feeling is this. Yeah, I have your, sorry, may I have your name and address to the record, please? Oh, yeah, Sean, I'm sorry. John Urowich, 47 March Street, corner of Little John. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have a sore throat. Um, my comment is this, and it's you know, extending times and all that. Uh, tonight is, as I've been told, the ZBA has all final powers of, of our group and our concerns and the, and the town's concerns. This is a very important meeting for us in the neighborhood, and it's a very important meeting for the, uh, the applicant. Engineers, architects, uh, lawyers, all of that crowd can't all have the same family emergency. I'm a little bit skeptical as to why they're not here tonight to face questions, to give us answers, because there would be a lot of questions regarding all the things we want the ZBA to, um, oh boy, to, to be there for us against the state. So I, I just wanted to be put that on the record that I'm a bit disappointed, a lot disappointed that the, the applicant isn't here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, obviously the board is displaying a, a little bit of discretion in regards to the, the details of the request. Um, <clears throat> let me just assure you that the, the reason that the request was made um, is, is due to a death in a family of a, of a person who's very important that they be at this hearing. And um, for that reason, they are unable to attend and we really cannot proceed without them. Um, and so that is the reason that we have this request. Um, so with that in mind, um, brings up the, the first vote that we need to take this evening, uh, which would be an extension of the 180 day period for public hearing by 14 days to Friday, April 23rd, 2021. I have a motion to that effect. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Hanlon. Is a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. DuPont. And quickly going down the rolls. Mr. DuPont. Aye. Mr. Hanlon. Aye. Mr. Mills. Aye. Mr. O'Rourke. Aye. Mr. Ford. Aye. Mr. Revlak. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Which brings us to our second vote. Um, so the second is a continuance of this public hearing to a date certain. That date will be Thursday, April 8th. 2021 at 6.30 p.m. Um, may I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Hanlon. A second? Aye. Thank you, Mr. DuPont. May I roll call vote on this as well? Uh, Mr. DuPont? Aye. Mr. Hanlon? Aye. Mr. Mills? Aye. Mr. O'Rourke? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Mr. Revelak? Aye. The chair votes aye. So we are continued on Thorndike Place until Thursday, April 8th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. Um, there was a request from Mr. DuPont to sort of review the schedule that we have currently moving forward. Um, so the next schedule, the only scheduled hearing we have currently on Thorndike Place now is the Thursday, April 8th um, hearing date. Um, we will once we will need to coordinate with the with the applicant to determine um, additional dates beyond that time and work that out with the schedule both for for the applicant and for um, for Mr. Haverty as well. Um, and then quickly going to the town's calendar. So we do have dates scheduled for 1165R Mass Ave. Um, so the current date, so we, the next date we have scheduled for that is um, Tuesday, April 13th at 7.30 p.m. Um, and that is currently the only date we have scheduled fixed with them. So we will need to assign additional dates to proceed beyond that. And then quickly flipping over to Nova. Um, so additionally, on the 13th, we also will be hearing continuances of three other hearings. Um, one is 190-192 Mystic Valley Parkway. Uh, one is 
for um, another two. Let's check my notes. Uh, one is 4143 Fairmont, and the third one is 59 Mount Vernon. So those three will all be um, on that date, as well as the continuation of, of 1165R. And uh, Mr. Valarelli, are there any other that have dates that have been set at have no, those dates? We have no dates set as of yet, uh, Mr. Chairman. However, we are getting busy. I had four requests for residential special permits and one variance. Uh, just cut those, so those are a ways out, probably looking about 30 days from now. Okay. okay so I believe that's all the, all the dates we have in our calendar moving forward. Mr. Chairman, just for clarity, I guess the, seven, the April 13th hearing is back at 7.30 again, correct? That is correct. All right, so I believe that is all the business that we had in our agenda for this evening. Um, so moving back to my beautiful script. Mr. Chairman, uh, a question? Um, name and address of the record, please. Uh, name Steve Moore. I live on Piedmont Street. Yes, Mr. Moore. Uh, my question was, uh, now that the schedule, the 180-day schedule is extended out to, I believe you said it was April 23rd, yes. could you give me a brief uh, uh, description of the activities that will happen before and after the 23rd in terms of the board's decision-making process? Certainly. Thank you for the question. Um, so the, the 23rd is formally the end of the 180-day public hearing period. So during this period, we are allowed to, um, to take testimony. We are allowed to uh, receive new information and uh, get information, request information from the applicant, from our peer review consultants, from members of the town, and most importantly, from members of the community um, to use towards reaching a decision uh, once we have reached that date, um, the public hearing needs to close, but the board has 40 days in which to um, complete its deliberations on the final draft of the decision and vote on the decision. Um, and so I, I don't know what that plus 40 date is, but the, that is the activity. So the board is planning to have uh, two, at least two hearings between now and the 23rd. And then at that point, we would, uh, by statute, need to close the public hearing and complete any deliberations that have not happened um, on the, the drafting of the decision itself. But we, after we reach that date, we are no longer allowed to accept uh, new information. Okay, Mr. Chairman, one question. You said two hearings between now and the 23rd, but only one of those hearings has to do with Thorndike Place, correct? So we, we need, well, we need to schedule two hearings with Thorndike Place. We have one that was on the calendar already. Uh, we will need oh. to schedule an additional one that we have not had an opportunity to schedule as of this time. All right, I see, I, I see your point. Okay, and when you say 40 days to uh, come up with a final decision, is that 40 business days or 40 calendar days? Uh, Mr. Heim, do you have a, I believe it's 40, ca 40 calendar days, is that correct? It's 40 calendar days. <clears throat> And I have to assume that the board will be working from the draft decision, which has been circulated, and you and you folks are still taking comment on. That is correct. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And just just to clarify, any the the during that forty day period, any meeting of the board that constitutes three or more individuals is a public hearing, and so will be a posted public hearing that the public will be invited to attend. Um, but because we are not allowed to take additional testimony at that time, we will not be um, inviting additional comment from the public during the 40-day the period where we are uh, deliberating the final draft. Okay. Um, so with that, uh, thank you all for your participation in tonight's meeting of the Arlington Zoning Board of Appeals. I appreciate everyone's patience throughout the meeting. Especially wish to thank uh, Mr. Valarelli, Mr. Lee, and Mr. Heim for their assistance in preparing and hosting this meeting. 
please note the purpose of the board's recording the meeting is to ensure the creation of an accurate record of the proceeding. And it's our understanding the recording made by ACMI will be available on demand at acmi.tv within the coming days. If anyone has comments or recommendations, please send them via email to zba at town.arlington.ma.us. That email address is also listed on the ZBA website. To conclude tonight's meeting, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. Moved. Thank you, Mr. Hamlin. A second? Aye. Second. Thanks, Mr. Revelak. Quickly run down the rolls. Mr. DuPont. Aye. Mr. Hanlon. Aye. Mr. Mills. Aye. Mr. Work. Aye. Mr. Ford. Aye. Mr. Revelak. Aye. And the chair votes aye. The board is adjourned. Thank you all for your participation. I apologize to everyone who has set aside time this evening for this hearing. And uh, I'll give you that time back. Good night, guys. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye, folks. Ciao.